For all those who appreciate the work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started. Batman coming at you. How you doing, patrons? What are some of the various lines of evidence the evolutionists look to for support of universal common ancestry? They frequently look to homology, transitional forms, and nested hierarchical patterns. All of these lines of evidence are agnostic to the creation versus evolution debate. For example, when it comes to homology, we know that human designers build in homologous patterns. And we can even see homologous patterns at the blueprint level. For example, the earliest stages of different types of modes of transportation, sedans, SUVs, and vans, all look very similar. And it is not until the final product that we see the most differences. Remember, the Bible in Genesis tells us that we are made in the image of God. This means that there is something about us that reflects the divine. We should be able to get an idea into how God may have designed the biological world simply based on the way we, as humans, as engineers, design and build things. It turns out that humans also build vehicles that seem to blend the features of multiple types of vehicles. One such vehicle that comes to mind is an amphibious assault vehicle, which happens to blend the features of both a land vehicle and a vehicle built for the sea. We have even got crossover vehicles that resist classification. For example, the Dodge Journey or the Ford Flex and even the Jeep Gladiator. These, according to the evolutionists, would be the perfect example of a transitional form, when in fact, it's just evidence of good design, good forward thinking, pointing us back to the forward thinker, the designer, the God of the Bible. Lastly, when it comes to these groups within groups patterns, these patterns, that evolutionists look to as evidence for descent with modification and universal common ancestry. These nested hierarchical patterns, the structure of life, are found far and wide in the design world. In other words, we can find an echo of the overall pattern of life in the design realm. This did not have to be true, and yet it is. We can see hierarchical patterns at the visible level and the blueprint level. The critics of biblical creation and independent origins, those that favor universal common ancestry, may as well just look to the sky being blue and the earth being round as evidence for their model and their position. They might as well just point out the fact that water is wet. When both models can explain the data, that data becomes agnostic to the debate. Now, the reason why the evidence, the empirical data best supports the independent origins model is because numerous lines of evidence exist that only biblical creation and the biblical model of separate ancestry can explain. This model of independent origins also makes the very best testable prediction, which is the gold standard of science. It was the evolutionists years and years and years ago that set that standard. They today are not meeting that standard. The young earth creationists are. In a future video, we will go over the powerful lines of evidence 
that confirm independent origins and at the same time refute universal common ancestry. Thank you so much.